Good morning everyone. I welcome all of you in today's lesson. In today's lesson we learn theory of multiple intelligence that is by Dr. Gardner. We might have seen the people some are good at writing, listening, readings and other are good at working on a computer and it will be possible the other are good at playing. So, as per the Gardner all have different kind of intelligence. Let's see. He developed the theory of multiple intelligence. Dr. Howard Gardner, he is professor in Howard University. He described eight different intelligence types. Let's see one by one all of them. The first one they describe a linguistic. They are master in verbal intelligence and use of language. The person who has this quality is master in verbal intelligence and the person is good at writing, reading, writing and can easily learn new language. Mostly the profession is profession like poets, writers and speakers. Now we move to the another that is logical mathematics. It includes critical thinking, scientific thinking and problem solving skills. The people high on logical intelligence can be thinking logical and critical. Most of the scientists we can see that and the Nobel Prize winner are likely to high on these mathematical skills. Now we move to the next one that is Spatial. Spatial. It refers to the ability to involve in forming, using and transferring mental image. This person high on high on this intelligence can easily represent the spiritual world in his mind. They usually increase their spiritual power by playing chess because in chess we just imagine how we can defeat other. Mostly the example of painter, architect, interior directors are the example of spiritual. Now we next one is musical intelligence. Musical intelligence. It is capability to produce, create a multi manipulate musical pattern. The person good at is a singer and the person who understand the sound or maybe a DJ player. Now we move to the another body kinesthetic. Yeah. The consistent use of whole body or pattern is a display or solving. How well you control your body, how much flexible is your body. Athletes, dancer, and actors, maybe surgeons, the person who knows the body can be part of this. Then interpersonal skills. This is the skills is understanding and motive feelings of others. How much you know others, how you understand others. And it can be if you are a good leader, you need to understand your, your employees work also. And we can see the example is psychologists who understand other counselors, politicians are the good example of that. Like social workers, inter intrapersonal about yourself, how much you know yourself. It's like, do you know yourself? You know your weakness, your strength. It's totally about the yourself, how effective you are. The next one in neuralistic, as the name suggests, about the nature, how you, how do you, you know nature, and how you deal with the nature. The most probably like a farmer who knows nature well, apart from that like jugulistic, botanistic, and tourist are the great example of this. These all are the theory that is developed by Gardner, like with the linguistic intelligence, logical mathematics, spatial, musical, body kinesthetic, interpersonal, intrapulsion, neuristic. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you have any question in psychology, you can write it below. Have a nice day.